Now, I love me some gadgets, but what I'm really a sucker for is old school superhero weapons, like an indestructible shield or a self-heavying hammer. Oh, I got it. Those are the weapons that really stick with us. Wonder Woman is certainly known for her old school weapons like a shield and a lasso and some kick-ass gauntlets, but it's her sword that should really stick with us. Thanks to one little piece of dialogue, I think Diana is wielding the sharpest sword in the universe. The latest iteration of Wonder Woman brings along all of her classic Amazonian weapons, including her sword, but in the films, her sword is nowhere near as powerful as it is in the comics. I'm talking specifically about this gorgeous miniseries called Kingdom Come by Alex Ross and Mark Wade. In these panels right here, you can see that Diana's sword actually cuts Superman because it can, quote, carve electrons off an atom. This is an incredible statement. We've talked about the physics of cutting with more or less regular blades a few times on this show now, but even with a magical sword, the basics are the same. Things cut by applying more pressure to a material than a material structure can withstand, and so it separates. Swords and knives do this by making their edges very, very thin, minimizing the area so that even under a decent amount of force, the pressure is significant. Wonder Woman's reaction time must be amazing to make her gauntlets worthwhile. Like, like stupid amazing. When a knife cuts into something like a, a cabbage, the knife edge ends up pushing some of the molecules of the cabbage out of the way. Some of those molecules can't handle the stress and therefore they separate as the intermolecular forces are overcome by the knife. But the way that Diana's sword cuts is on a whole nother level. If her sword can carve electrons off atoms, then it isn't moving molecules out of the way, it's moving through those molecules in between the space of electrons and the atoms that they orbit. It would be applying pressure directly to the ionic and covalent bonding that holds materials, like cabbage, together. By being sharp enough to move in between atoms and their electrons, in theory, Wonder Woman's sword should be able to separate anything from anything. But first, Diana has to actually wield the sword, which may be tricky. If it can move in between electrons, then it's something that you could never leave unsheathed. The sword is so sharp that if you accidentally dropped it above anything, even magical stuff, the weight of the sword alone would bury it hilt deep into the material. When Diana started swinging her sword, something awesome would happen. All blades are sharp enough to move through the air, but Diana's is sharp enough to move through the air. Even with a simple swipe, the blade would separate atmospheric atoms from their electrons and ionize them. I mean, bullets travel hundreds of meters per second, so at any reasonable distance, Wonder Woman's reaction time has to be like 10 times the average. Usually, a lot of energy needs to be added to air to ionize it, like the electrical potential between positive and negative charges in the clouds and ground that ends up forming lightning. But Diana's blade is so sharp that it would ionize the air just with the energy behind her swipes, which means that during every battle, every single sword slash would be accompanied by lightning. How cool is this? I can't overstate this enough. If Wonder Woman's sword is really this sharp, it would quickly end a lot of very nerdy debates. All right, fine. I'm not a natural blonde, okay? I admit it. With this one electron slicing property, Wonder Woman's sword becomes the sharpest thing in the universe, which means Luke Cage and his bulletproof skin sliced. Wolverine and his indestructible adamantium skeleton chopped. Captain America's indestructible vibranium shield cleaved in twain. Not even Superman's beard could stand up to Wonder Woman's sword. I trimmed. I'm just saying that for someone who grew up around slow moving projectiles like arrows, reacting to identifying and blocking bullets is really impressive. Wonder Woman! Really the only thing Wonder Woman's sword wouldn't be able to cut are atoms themselves. 
In Superman slash Wonder Woman 6, Superman and Wonder Woman cause a nuclear chain reaction by using her sword to slice through uranium atoms. This is cool, but unlikely, even with an electron slicing sword, because the bonds between atomic nuclei are a million times stronger than the bonds between electrons and the atoms that they orbit. Still, we can agree, this is cool enough. The dialogue in Kingdom Come and other comics may have just been throwaway badass lines, but they created the sharpest blade in the universe. A sword so sharp it could cut through Superman while trailing lightning. Wonder Woman's sword may have been created by magic, but its effects in this universe would be very real and very worthy of wonder. Because science. Wonder Woman! Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at SciFile, where you can suggest ideas for future episodes, and on Instagram and Facebook, where I'm now posting mini episodes of this show like I did today. Go check them out, they're fun. And I'll talk to you, personally. Probably. Yeah, I will. It might take me a while, but I'll get to it, maybe. Oh, I didn't call, didn't call it yet. Ha! Dang it! Jeez, jeez! Oh, fuck! <laughs> One more time! Thunder! Yes!